Hello everyone, welcome back. Now let's have a look over our new gyroscope sensor that will be ITG 3200. And for that we have to visit the website that will be controleverything.com and here we have to search for the sensor as you can see on my screen. And it's a 3-axis MEMS gyro angular rate sensor. Also some more prominent features are listed onto the screen and you can purchase the sensor right from here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing the gyroscope ITG3200 with the Beagle Mode Black and the platform will be, software platform will be C language code. And for that, let's go to resource tab and here we have the C code sample. You can download the C code sample as a zip file from here. And also you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository, they will be control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up together and proceed. Well, for the hardware connection setup, the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen. And this here is an I2C sheet for the bigger bone black. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that, what we require is to gently place this I2C shield over the bigger bone black and make a connection just like that. For the power up setup, we require two things. The first is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. It is very useful to power up the bigger one black. Now to power up the I2C sheet, we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it here. Now for an option for the internet connection, there are two mediums. The first is an ethernet cable or LAN cable and the second is this, a wireless nano USB adapter. Next, this here is our gyroscope and it is ITG3200 and this comes a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the ground, ground wire of the cable and similarly to the ground of I2C sheet. Now what we require is our code and let's interface. Coming to the interfacing part, the first step is to locate the code and for that we need to log into github.com and after that we have to search on for the repository that will be control everything community. And here we go and this comes the sensor ITG3200 and this here is the C code. But before that, let's go to uh, the instructions part. As you can see, we have to set up our BeagleBoot black and BeagleBoot.org is the link from where we need to follow the instructions carefully for the proper setup. Please do it carefully. And after getting that, we have to download or get pull the code onto the vehicle board black. And this command will compile the C code and this will run the C code. Please note it down. And now we have the C code and it's a .c extension file. The things you notice into the code, first of all, is for the we have included some of the header files, libraries here and in the void make function we have the function which will check whether the I2C bus is open or not and the address of the sensor that is connected is 0x68. Now coming to the writing part, we are going to power up set zero reference and it is 0x01 as you can see and the command is here and in the next part we are going to uh, set full scale range plus minus 2000 degrees per second that will be 0x18 and the writing command is here and then we have a sleep function and in the next part we are going to read 6 bytes of the data from the register 0x1d which will be x, y and z axis data and after that we have the conversion of the values for 3 perpendicular axes are there and we have used a formula for the calculation and the conversion and it is clearly described in the data sheet for ITG3200. At the very end, we have the values for rotation in X, Y, and Z perpendicular axis. And let me tell you, these are the raw values. So this is how the code looks like. Now let's see how it works. All right, now move on to the working part and to check the practicality of the code, the first step is to copy the entire code as you can see on my screen. And after that, we need to open up the terminal for the bigger bone pack and here we have to type in the sensor name, the file name we have created with the .c extension file for the C code and we have to paste the entire code and we have to save it and for the compilation as you can see on my screen this is the command and let me type on the full command this 
command will compile the code and it's good to see that and for the working part this is the command to run the code and we have the x axis of rotation along with the y and z axis and when I again run the command we have the rotation in x y and z axis and it is almost uh, very minute the changes are very less but when I try to rotate or some move some angular changes over the sensor and run the command we have a significant change in rotation for the x y and z axis and when I try to rotate the sensor the angular acceleration or rotation in all the three axes are significant and they are reflected onto the screen so this is how the sensor works now let's see what are the features applications and benefits of this particular sensor the ITT 3200 is the world's first single chip digital output 3 axis MEMS gyro IC optimized for gaming 3D mice and 3D remote control applications the part features enhanced bias and sensitivity temperature stability reducing the need for user calibration the ITG 3200 features 3 16 bit ADCs for digitizing the gyro outputs a user selectable internal low pass filter bandwidth and a fast mode I2C interface additional features include an embedded temperature sensor and 2% accurate internal oscillator Applications for this sensor are motion enabled game controllers, motion based portable gaming, motion based 3D mice and 3D remote controls, no touch user interface, health and sports monitoring. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sense or video, you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.